guys, what's up? Good morning. It's another beautiful day in California. Uh, it's supposed to rain, uh, which is nice. We do need the rain. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, help us stay out of the drought for the longest time. Um, I do love the rain and, you know, everything turns green afterwards and stuff. So hopefully we get a lot of rain. Um, so wanted to do an update about uh, what's been going on. I know I've mentioned to you guys previously that, um, you know, there was a, a student uh, at school that was uh, being rude to me. Uh, do a quick update. Pretty much second week, uh, spoke to the professor. I was like, yo, I mean, there's a student that is uh, rude to me and nothing really happened out of that. And then um, I, conti I continued to just, you know, deal with it and get to know the person, get to know the student. You know, um, if a person's rude to me once, I, uh, you know, it's it's not uh, a good thing to just kind of like, you know, dismiss the person. I believe that like, you know, maybe the person's like having a bad day or something. And uh, so I waited. Uh, a month and then you know did my best to get to know this person we'd go out and uh, get some food on break get a drink or something and uh so a month passed by as an update you know um this person was rude again uh spoke with the professor uh about it uh you know in the beginning and you know he mentioned uh about me like you know hey Andrew I don't want you um you know making anyone feel uncomfortable and I thought I misheard him and I nicely asked I was like you know sorry professor I think I might have misheard you um do you mind you know repeating yourself and he said the same thing he's like Andrew I don't want you making anyone like feel uncomfortable and um you know made me feel confused just because like I said previously uh, in the other video that you know I'm, I'm going to you for help with a student that's being uh, rude and um, you know just making my my learning environment become toxic and I talked to him you know after class uh, you know I'm like you know professor after the second week um, when I brought it up to you when this happened um, of dealing with them and stuff like uh, you know me being group mates with him uh, when I mentioned it to him to the professor and he kind of just you know how I perceived it seemed like he just kind of like blew it off you know I told him told the professor that same night so pretty much the third time once on the second week you know twice but I called that once in the beginning class and then the third time at the end of class before I left, um, you know, I mentioned to him that after the second week of dealing with uh, the students' uh, rudeness and me mentioning it to the teacher, I mentioned to him that, you know, I was thinking of just dropping the class, you know, just because, like, I feel like, you know, I was just being dismissed and not being heard and just, like, bummed out. Because I, I believe that, like, you know, I know there's, um, when you go to school, there's different personalities and people, you know, might be going through some stuff. So, I mean, that's my, like, common thought is, like, if someone's rude, you know, I'm like, hey, maybe they're having a bad day. Maybe something's going on, uh, which I mentioned to this uh, student, you know, I want to mention to him that, you know, when it happened four weeks later, I was like, hey, man, just to, like, let you know, like, coming off rude to me, um, you know, it's not very nice, and again, I'm gonna, you know, restate it, I said, like, oh, what are you talking about, and I was like, dude, like, even your, um, significant other, or a uh, close friend, uh, I'm not sure if they're together or not, mentioned to you that, like, look, man, like, like, stop, you know, being rude, the guy, which is me, it's just trying to get to know you, which I was, you know, I was just asking a question, small talk, like, what's your major, um, what are you into? Stuff like that. And, uh, I, you know, 
I told him too that like that's the reason why I had to tell you my age. That's the reason why I had to tell you, you know, I'm I'm 30 because of like just just how he was, how he was carrying himself and like you know, ordering me what to do instead of like asking me and you know, I want to avoid conflict. Like I I go to school to get an education, like like drama or any other um things that might get in the way of my learning to help me like progress in life is I'm, I'm just not like into it. Um, and so you guys know from this channel when I started it, I started a whole channel to give back. Um, instead of me being a consumer or someone who just, uh, yeah, pretty much a consumer, pretty much just consumes content from YouTube. Um, YouTube has helped me out so much. So I want to like give back and create not for the money but for creation to help people because i mean there's there's a like i mentioned in my uh youtube intro there's been so many times when like youtube had or have helped me out you know for it could be like cool videos educational videos funny videos and it's like it's it's good instead of just always taking you know it's it's good to like give back which i think you know so so after that night, um, you know, when I told the professor, or let me recap back to like me talking to the professor the third time, um, twice that day. So at the end of the night, you know, I told him like, hey, after, you know, the second week, like dealing with him and I talked to you and you seemed like, you know, you kind of just blew it off. I was thinking of dropping the class. And unfortunately, like his response was like, oh, I don't want, you know, the person I'm having uh, like issues with to drop the class, you know, like, I don't want this person to drop the class. And I mentioned to the professor, I'm like, professor, it's not the other person, it's me who was thinking of dropping the class. And he didn't respond or anything. And, uh, you know, I was super bummed out that, that night, because I was like, dude, like, like, why is it like why would he say that you know what I mean it's like I went to you for for help um, why would you say that like you know uh, made a student you know uh, like I don't know it's just like odd for me um, it just didn't like make me feel good so fast forward after that um, what happened um, I spoke to uh, uh, a student there, uh, you know, a student uh, who works there, and I, you know, I expressed that, you know, I don't think I'll be, like, coming back. It's just, you know, a, a toxic, like, learning, like, experience, you know, the, my environment where I'm learning, it's just, you know, it got compromised. You know, I'm a true believer of, like, positiveness. Um, there's too much stuff going on around the world that um, is bad. And you could watch this channel, like, last year. You know what I mean? When I started this or, or just, you know, the whole purpose of me even having this YouTube channel is, you know, to have uh, a positive influence. You know what I mean? To push people to um, follow your dreams, make a positive impact, help everyone out, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, the person's like, you know, it's, it's a bummer, you know, maybe like, you know, go, go talk to the professor again. And I talked to someone else, um, someone at school, uh, and uh, I mentioned to them like the problem and you know, uh, they did it say that, you know, um, you know, go talk to the person again instead of just dropping, uh, -huh. at least it will like, you know, give me like a peace of mind that like, you know, even if I do drop the class, I will have, uh, I don't know, I guess I would never wonder like what if, so, you know, and, you know, this person told me a lot of nice things, like, yeah, I've seen my work, you know, that I work hard, I help out, um, 
and you know, uh, the person made me feel really welcome. Same with the other person that I talked to about it. Um, and yeah, I was like, I was like, you know what? Like, I will, I will, uh, what you call it? Go talk to him uh, again. And which is the professor? And uh, the professor did uh, email me, and I, you know, responded to him. He said, you know, he wanted to uh, talk with me and stuff. And I mean, I was kind of like surprised because it's like talk to you after two weeks dealing with like this person's rudeness. I talked to you twice, you know, the night when I told this person like I was treating me. That's the third time. So now I got to talk to you like a fourth time, you know what I mean? So I did, I did go, uh, you know, respond back to him. Uh, I'm like, hey, you know, uh, I'm available to go talk. Let's go, uh, you know, have a meeting. And I'd like to express, you know, what, what happened with a student and stuff. And uh, beforehand too, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna talk to the dean uh, before I talk to him. That way, like you know, uh, people are aware. Uh, you know, dean mentioned to me before that I'm able to just like come by and you know talk to the talk to the dean and you know talk about like issues at school. You know, which is great. Um, and what happened was uh, that day came, went to the dean's office. Dean wasn't available. Uh, left my full name, my phone number to um, be given to the dean, to the dean's uh, student worker. And, um, you know, when the appointment came, I went and uh, met the professor and we walked around uh, the school campus and talked about the issue I relayed to him, you know, about like what happened uh, with a student and everything. Uh, that I was like, you know, bummed out because I reached to him uh, a bunch of times. Like I reached out, you know what I mean? Um, like how it should be professionally done. Uh, and, you know, the person, uh, you know, listened to what I had to say. Um, the meeting, you know, uh, went well from the feeling I had, you know. And, you know, I was like, oh, okay, like, like, I do feel better, like, you know, talking to the professor about this, and I was like, oh, that's cool, that, that's cool, like, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. And so, here comes the weird part, the weird part that happens. I show up uh, the next day, so uh, Thursday, uh, a couple days ago, and, um, you know, I'm at ceramics, I love ceramics, as you guys know, I love doing, like, pottery, um, I make like a lot of potteries that like I give to my friends, uh, mugs, bowls, usable stuff like for gifts, not even have to be a gift, just a, as a reminder to be like, yo man, like made this for you, you know, like it's, it's, I think it's cool. Like even if you're older, I think it's dope that like you made um, something for someone. Like that's what's so awesome about ceramics. So I was at ceramics, uh, you know, just normal day, you know, vlogging and stuff, do my shots, um, had an awesome, awesome, it was dope, uh, sunset, like, the sky was all, like, epic and all that, like, it was time-lapse on, it's awesome, um, working on the edits and stuff right now, um, you know, I'm looking for my pots to be glazed, and, uh, police officers came, and, you know, uh, there's two of them. Uh, asked if I was Andrew Gancia. I am. And uh, they asked if I have an ID. And me, like, I have my ID in my backpack. So they asked me uh, where my ID is. I was like, I don't have it. Uh, where is it? It's in my backpack. Uh, I asked them if I could get it. They said no. Which was like, I'm like, I'm wondering, you know, like, what's going on? So the gentleman had to oh, go get my backpack. So I pointed like, you know, my backpack's there. The gentleman got it. They asked if they could search it. Uh, you know, I said no, just because it's like, 
like why would you search it like I didn't even know like what's going on um, you know, like if you have a search warrant stuff like that um, but he said you know I have to open your backpack to get your ID out of it is there anything in there that could like uh, I should know about so like no you know it's my school backpack like probably have my charters in there and I honestly don't even care if you have a pen so I mean like I was like what the heck like I don't even know what's going on so they got my ID and uh, the other officer uh, asked to uh, take a picture what well, he said you know I'm gonna take a picture of you I was like okay like I know what it was for, I guess, to make sure that they got the right person. It's like, I'm, I'm public, you type in my name on Google, it shows everywhere, like, who I am, who I am. Like, it literally shows, like, my face. And I'm like, I'm like, wondering, I was like, you know, I asked him, like, yo, like, like, what's going on? I didn't ask him like that, like, what is going on? And the officer said that, like, uh, you know, uh, school official has reported me commenting about uh, like the the school shooting um, and I am a threat and I can't be at school and like I'm like I'm like like imagine guys like what is going through my mind at this point it's like I'm I'm asking someone for help like I went and talk to the professor a total of like four times at this point, four times. And, um, you know, um, fuck, like it was just like insane. Excuse me for like cussing, but I was like, I was like, are you serious? And he's like, yeah. And it's like, you know, I can't be at school. Um, if I'm at school, I could be like arrested for trespassing. Um, and I was like, what the heck's going on? I'm actually like surprised that like, before like the police like showed up, like maybe there was like a point where like someone could have asked me like what happened instead of like, like this happening. Um, I mean, it got me like bummed out. That's what I was saying about, like, in my... That's why I titled it Shave Head and Tattoos was because it's, like, why... Like, how did it... How did it get to this? Like, how... How did it get to... Student, which is me. Student... You know, I don't want to say begging, but, like, asking for help. Okay. Uh... And now I'm, I'm here, like, you know, I was escorted out to my car, um, you know, uh, wasn't allowed in campus, you know, I, I just feel super, like, persecuted, like, at that point, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel totally, like, just, like, just bummed out, it's like, dude, it's, a student, <laughs> The ask for help now is the threat, right? I'm a, I'm a threat now. And it's like... Like, it's hard for me, like I said, on the tattoos, and, or, or shave head and tattoos episode, to not to think that there is some type of, like, prejudice or bias um, against me. Again, like, I, I hope not. Um, times like these are times where we should we should be together. You know what I mean? We should we should help each other out. Um, by the way, I appreciate it. Like, appreciate you know the officer, officers. I thank both of them and shook their hands. I'm like, understand you guys are doing your job, and the officers are super dope. The gentleman that was uh, talking to me uh, said, you know, I appreciate you recognizing that that we're just doing our job and most people don't recognize that and I do like for me I'm thinking that you know if something weird was going on and and I had a kid at school like you know I, I appreciate you know them doing that 
but it's like for me i would imagine there's some type of like order where so before you go and send cops to take a student out like there's some type of like order of like how did we get there and i'm just like i'm just confused because like at that school back then i represented the school uh i was in the newspaper even at ceramics uh last fall or, or no, no i'm sorry last like uh, or two falls ago I, I've, I'm I, I'm not even sure now but like you know, I've always been a helpful person at that uh, school like in ceramics you know not only like the uh, uh, much more mature ladies you know or uh, look like they could need some help with me uh, like carrying clay because these clays are like 25 pounds each the, uh, the clay body brand new and Two of them's about 50 pounds, and I always help out, like, um, and one of the students actually, uh, at the end, uh, one of the older ladies, like, came and, like, gave me a hug, gave me a gift, you know, gave me an envelope, and I'm like, oh, man, like, what is this for, you know, and it was a gift for me because, you know, she said that I've always uh, helped out without even, like, thinking, you know, it's goodness in my heart. And even the professor in that class, it's like telling me like, you know, Andrew, you're like, you know, you're always a sweetheart, you know, you, you help out without even like thinking, you know, you're a real good person. And even in another class where there was a test where it was a group test and I was helping out the professor at the end and I told the professor like, look, um, on that group test, I felt like my um, teammate at the time was doing more work than me, and I'd like you to uh, know that. And this teacher, which was dope, uh, mentioned that like, you know what, Andrew, you're, you're a real stand-up guy. At this time, I didn't even know what like that meant. I had to look it up. You know, she's like, uh, you're a real stand-up guy. You don't have to even like tell me that. You know, told me that like, you know, another student before cheated and she caught him and, and he uh, denied it and um, I guess, and uh, she totally respect that, like, you know, I would, I would, uh, what you call it, um, like, go and tell her that, and you know what I mean, like, I helped out so much, at that, and I'm wondering, like, like, why, um, why just happening to me? I mean, I'm bummed out. I'm just like waiting until I hear from the school of like what happens but it's like you know I feel totally like just scarred from this from this whole thing because it's like it's like dude like the student went and like asked for like help and then now he's like the the threat the threat like is it because it's the way I look like shaved head and, and tattoos like it's 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 heartbreaking, because it's like, like, what else would it be? Like, you know what I mean? Like, before the police was sent there, like, was the right information even relayed to this? Because it's like, I have to live with this now. Um, meaning that, like, moving forward, you know, when I have kids or, or whatever, it's like, I have to, like, it's part of my life now. Traumatic experience to be like, like yeah, you know, I went and asked for help. You know, this happened. Talked to professor four times. You know, the next day somehow, uh, cops are telling me that I'm, I'm not allowed at school. Like, how? How did we get here? You know what I mean? Um, there's nothing. There's nothing. Like, there's, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, why? You know, why me? Um, I wanted was help. I wanted to, like, get my education going. Um, I know. So, but, stay positive, guys. You know, hopefully everything, you know, turns out well. Uh, I'm just, like, 
I don't know. I'm just like confused. I'm confused and um It's a mood killer. Cause it's like like why? Like what's like why is this happening to me? Like what what bad thing did I do? Like I'm I literally went and like asked for help and somehow like I'm the one that is a trouble or trouble and now I have to like leave school like something's just like weird is going on here like I don't even know but um, hopefully you guys are doing great I know it's a long video uh, thank you for uh, watching listening um, since then Interesting to see the video of me titled uh, uh, Shaved End Tattoos, the views all of a sudden went up, which is interesting. Um, everything after on that, it's like just a trending chart on YouTube that shows that like that's like higher. Like, it's kind of weird, but you know, wish me the best guys. Again, you know what I mean? My mission is the same thing, is to spread positivity, you know, in this channel. Um, to show you guys that like you know like I said I don't have the like the best like setup for vlogging videos blah 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 but you can do it with your phone you can do it with whatever you know what I mean and constantly strive for the best guys no matter what you know hopefully a situation like this never happens to you guys and you know hopefully everyone's great so we'll see you again enjoy the videos uh, We'll see what happens, guys. Wish me luck, guys. Have a great day. Peace.